How do you feel about sensations? One of them recently hit the world. A new mysterious layer has been discovered in the structure of the Earth, overturning the fundamental principles of geology. Where did it come from? Why wasn't it discovered earlier? As we fanatically explore the cosmos, we rarely consider how well humanity has explored its own planet. What do we really know about the Earth? It is a huge rocky sphere that acts as the third planet from the Sun. It is also a member of a planetary system circling the back of the Milky Way galaxy. The mentioned information is known to almost all inhabitants of the Earth, excluding those who believe in a witty theory about elephants and a turtle. Hello. At the moment, the population of the Earth is approaching 8 billion people, and if demographics remain the same, by 2042, we will be about 9 billion. Mankind, busy worrying about increasing the coefficient of well-being, forget that they live on the surface of the global hamburger. Sometimes the layers interact with each other and shake, causing the Earth's surface to go into motion. Shake a lunchbox full of burgers and see what happens. How many layers of the Earth does modern science define? According to geology, the layer cake that is simultaneously our common home is made up of four layers, the inner and outer core, the mantle, and the Earth's crust. The inner core has a radius of approximately 1,250 kilometers and is dominated by iron and nickel. The outer core is iron and its thickness is about 2,200 kilometers. The composition of the mantle is likely to include silicates and oxides. The thinnest layer is the Earth's crust. Its depth varies from 5 to 70 kilometers, with the least thickness noted under the oceans. Of course, this is a very rough and superficial overview. Because there are a lot of additional gradations, the Mohorovicic discontinuity, asthenosphere and so on. But nevertheless, it is enough to understand the layered structure of our planet. Where did scientists get this valuable information from? After all, as far as we know, the deepest mine ever created by man is the Kola Super Deep Borehole, with a depth of about 12 kilometers. Moreover, it is still considered to be the result of the deepest human intrusion into the bowels of the Earth's crust. Then, how did geologists manage to count the Earth's layers? Let's digress a little and think about global catastrophes that claim a huge number of lives and lead to total destruction. What is the first thing that comes to your mind? Earthquakes, of course. During the period of documenting such phenomena, the most terrible and catastrophic of them occurred absolutely randomly in Azerbaijan and Crimea, in Jamaica and Sicily, in Japan and China. Some earthquakes were characterized by special power and took several hundred thousand lives. But despite their danger and lethality, such phenomena are of scientific value because thanks to them, geologists get information about the rocks deep inside the Earth, their temperature, structure, and other parameters. In addition to earthquakes, scientists draw information from experiments with heating rocks, as well as from computer modeling. How can we benefit from pulses coming from beneath the Earth? During earthquakes, seismic waves travel through the Earth's layers at different speeds, allowing experts to draw conclusions about their density and composition. In particular, thanks to seismic waves, we know that the Earth's core is much more dense than the rest of the Earth. This is not surprising because the substances that make up this structural element are subjected to monstrous pressure. It is a well-known fact. Iron at a million atmospheres is compacted by a third. In addition, geologists assure that the Earth's core, lying at a depth of about 2,900 kilometers, super hot. The temperature in it is about the same as on the surface of the Sun. It is to this Earth layer that we owe a powerful magnetosphere, which protects the planet from the solar wind. In connection with this question, 
Do you know about regular pulsations, the so-called heartbeat of the Earth? This strange phenomenon, which for more than 60 years scientists cannot fully explain, is sometimes associated with the magnetosphere and the solar wind that affects it. It is how the Earth feels the hot breath of the Sun. But this is not the only hypothesis. In the early 60s of the last century, geologist Jack Oliver recorded the so-called microsesm, that is, the Earth's pulsation, noted once in 26 seconds. During the study of this amazing phenomenon, geophysicists even identified its source. It is Bonnie Bay in the Gulf of Guinea. What generates the Earth's pulse? It was voiced version that this contributes to the volcano of Sao Tome, located in the location, and it was assumed that all to blame the continental shelf, which serves as a giant wave cutter, say, the waves break about it and generate permanent vibrations picked up by geo devices. Also with the Earth's pulsation associated with the hypothesis of the expansion of the planet, according to which the continents do not actually move on the surface, but on the contrary, the Earth is expanding, distancing them from each other. One thing is glad that these pulsations catch only highly sensitive devices, and people are not given to feel them. When will all these mysteries be solved? The answer to this question is unknown, but right now, we are on the threshold of explaining one amazing mystery hidden deep inside the planet. We're talking about the new Earth layer. What helped unlock a global planetary secret? To discover a previously undiscovered, unexplored layer of the Earth allowed geologists to systematically study earthquakes, causing a sensation in the scientific world and forever changing the usual ideas about the internal structure of our planet. So, geologists from the Australian National University discovered the Earth layer, located at a distance of about 650 kilometers from the center of our planet. In general, scientists are not the first time they mention the possibility of finding a new biscuit in the Earth's cake. Such conversations have been going on for several decades, and only now they have become concrete. The study analyzed the changes in seismic waves passing through the core of our planet. A strange pattern was found. From north to south, shock impulses are much more dynamic than from west to east. Taking a closer look at this anomaly, geologists began to study thousands of possible models and algorithms, which led to the conclusion that in relative proximity to the center of the Earth, that is, in the inner core, changes in the structure of iron. This indicates the presence of an additional layer, it would seem. And what will we get from this in practice, except for the correction of some school and university textbooks? It turns out that thanks to this scientific sensation, scientists were able to delve into the history of the Earth and even rewrite it a little. For example, in the light of recent events, it is believed that the cooling period of our planet was far from unique. This is also evidenced by the state of the Earth's core. To put it simply, the Ice Age was not one, but at least two, and this forms a new idea about the evolutionary development of organisms on the planet. This may not be the only lost structural part of our layer cake. Research is still ongoing. Considering how many seemingly ironclad hypotheses have been debunked, it's no wonder our ideas about the world around us are so illusory. Sit back in your chair and think, what are you doing right now? Don't rush to answer, because it's not as obvious as it seems. Whether you are sitting, standing, jogging, or lying on the sofa, you and I are continuously traveling at a speed of 107,000 kilometers per hour around the sun, traveling 2,600,000 kilometers every day. If we remember that the Earth rotates around its axis at a speed of about 1,600 kilometers per hour, and that the solar system circles the center of the Milky Way, every second overcoming 220 kilometers. 
It turns out that we are never in a static state. From birth to death, dissecting space with monstrous speeds. But the average person doesn't know this, as well as does not suspect and about the additional layers resting inside the Earth. To feel the speed with which we are rushing, you need to stick your hand out of the car window. Otherwise, you will not be able to feel the force of the passing air. By analogy with this example, everything else works as well. Only by feeling, seeing personally or knowing something in comparison, one can clearly understand the situation. But maybe this fifth layer is a fiction and it doesn't really exist. After all, in different epochs, science put forward hundreds of alternative concepts up to the theory of hollow earth. Unfortunately, empirically prove the reality of the stunning hypothesis is impossible. It is unlikely that anyone will be able to get to the core of our planet in the coming millennia. And what hypothesis is close to you personally? Perhaps some of our subscribers belong to the category of flat earthers. We respect any opinions. Share them in the comments.